So many skins. Huh? Just again, though. Just the, just the two, two, like two or one people that don't have it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Zach and Main looking boring as ever. <laughs> Haunted Maroka has a pretty nice skin. Yeah, that's the one you get from uh, last Halloween, right? With all those, with all those skins. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like we're getting in the game here. <laughs> so it looks like. Uh, Pretty standard starts here. Uh, actually, Zach picks up a Dorn shield. Yeah. Um, we see pings going down that thread and blue entrances for for blue side here. So they probably aren't going to want to invade. Oh, they're hitting the top of that blue there. So it looks like Thresh is just going to lay a ward down at their red. Yeah, they're actually might even invade their red here. And so they're throwing down a ward at the blue, so they'll have vision if they try to invade there. But it looks like blue side's going to invade red, uh, and there's no wards there. And red team getting spotted out there. Um, yeah, definitely seeing all five there. Yeah, so they're just going to go take this red buff. Actually, go to their own blue buff here. Yeah. So it looks like uh, Vayne just go back. Vayne and Fresh. This might, this might be a little bit dangerous. Yeah. Uh, Rankton is going to go check to see if there's anyone at the red. Uh, Ortho is on her ball, so when they start doing it, she's going to see them. And. Uh, Maybe Malachi will go to to invade the other red. Definitely, she uh, definitely ran away though. So yeah, she, yeah. They don't even know. Uh, so a little bit more patience on a on Oriana. They would have seen yeah. them taking the red, but. Basically, both teams got got some got some nice vision here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, looks like Maokai is gonna go down to this red buff on the blue side here, throwing a sapling. He sees that his red was stolen. Yeah. So he's gonna try to return the favor, but it is warded still. So blue team might be able to collapse on that. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look like anyone's moving for it. Yeah, it kind of looks like he's just going to be able to, to get it at least. So he did grab it. So Ignite down for Kali when Flash down for Maokai. But he does, he is able to steal back uh, the red buff. Yeah, that was just actually very, very surprising of them that they actually didn't, they didn't stop him there earlier. Yeah. Um, Collapsing would have been a bit better. Actually, there's a little fight going on bottom. Here. Yeah, Sona using her flash to get away from that hook. Actually, uh, top lane here, we got uh, a lot of damage going down on, on Zach here. Uh. Actually, oh. they actually gained bot. Vayne managing to condemn the Maokai. Um, it looks like they're probably just going to have to run from this. Uh, Vayne and Thresh taken really low. Um, good attempt by Maokai for that gank there. And the Ignite going off. Going to force that passive. Oh, it's actually Varus got actually the, the, the Q actually on Vayne there. 
and Let's snipes see if we can, can see that. Sylvain just backing. Oh, I missed it the second time. Uh, but yeah, using his Q. And uh, Zach passive being popped up uh, at the same time as that first blood. So he's got to be a little bit more careful now. Uh, but Renekton's Ignite is down for the next little bit. It looks like Sejuani's in the head top here. Yeah. And there's no ward, so she might be able to get the, the gank off. She's actually coming in right now. Yeah. They actually ease, yeah. ease, ease through her and gets, gets that double E up. Yeah, and just to slice and dice his way to safety. Um, mid lane, uh, Akali really getting pushed off, taking a lot of damage there. And Tadrani's so gonna try again for this. Oh, uh, he throws down the ignite, but uh, Tadrani so hasn't managed to land her charge. Yeah, they just don't have they just don't have enough damage. Yeah. Looks pretty even in CS. Yep. Mostly everywhere. Maokai not gonna jump on that uh, Zach who's backing at the time. Um, yeah, just uh, about an 800 gold lead. Some of that coming from that first blood. the first blood <laughs> yeah. and the assist gold. Varus is just a little bit ahead, he just has that bounce step turn instead of being right? Yep. Um. <coughs> Again, Vayne, laning phase, not a huge threat. So as long as she's kind of keeping pace, um, it'll be good news for them later on. Yeah, just if she keeps farming, right? But uh, here comes Maokai. Um, uh, she goes, his Zoss goes down. She's actually kind of made my stage. Oh. She actually, Maokai actually gets some damage. The tower, but the and uh, the the All right. So uh, the counter gank, um, Thresh and Vayne, seeing Maokai with those wards, um, decided to just keep showing themselves so that he would initiate and then uh, Sejuani in there to help out get that kill. Yeah. And uh, getting the kills onto Vayne early will be uh, great later on. Uh, up here, top lane, Renekton and Zach going pretty even. Um, both going kind of a tankier build. Uh, Zach picking up the double Dorans, and uh, Renekton just with that null magic and the uh, Negatron cloak. Yeah. Looks like Maokai's just gonna get the blue over here. Looks like uh bar set six here. They might, they might go for something here while they're, while they're mm -hmm. here. Actually, Sona just hit 6 too. Right. So that uh, chain CC will be a big risk right now. Uh, Rain is 6 as well. They're still level 5. So we'll see if um, Lars and Sona first out a little bit. It looks like uh, Sejuani is coming mid here, but it's actually warded. Right. So we'll react to Caesar. I was able to get away pretty safely. And Zach still 
holding, falling a little bit behind now. Rennington um, being kind of lane bully. Yeah, just getting bullied. <laughs> it's passing his back up a little bit. So he can be a little, little riskier right now. Yeah. It's actually a knight going down on Zach here. Mm -hmm. He actually ults. Yep. Yeah. Um, he'll get... Oh. He actually, his passive didn't proc there, so... Yeah. I'm saying actually might might actually just go in to pop his passive and jump out. And Maokai's gonna come top. Uh, they're probably gonna dive that. They might actually know that the top's warded, so... Yeah. Oh. We see Thresh missing his hook, but he's only landing the ult. Uh, the Vayne Condemned knock him down, but the chain CC under the tower. Um, and the Orion ult, managing to get the kill, and the double. Um, so great roam by Orion mid. And yeah, that was actually a really good play by their, by their bot lane there. Yeah. Uh, the chain CC under the tower. Sejuani just getting a little too too forward there. Yeah. So Zach's passive still up. Um, but he and Renekton. Doing a fairly good job. It actually gets a stun on him here. He might, he yeah. might actually pop it here. Oh, but he still gets out. Right, Sona actually puts down a visual on the dragon, right, so. Yeah. They'll probably be looking towards that pretty quickly here. So Dwani spots out the Maokai. Um, Why do we see Oriana roaming up top? Uh, they probably are going to dive this. Um, oh no, Orion is just gonna go back to mid. So good job for Sejuani for for covering that lane with uh, Zach and uh, scaring off that that tower dive. And with Zach the passive, you never really want to tower dive that anyways. Oriana looks like she's going down the bot lane. Yeah. Another room. Uh, yeah, actually they actually out that ward. Yeah, so they know it's warded. Um, Sona's going to think that and clear it out so that when uh, Oriana does come down, they won't be spotted. He's actually coming behind a Cali here in mid. So Oriana doing a great job showing her presence in other lanes yeah. and uh, still managing to keep pace with Yakali who's been mid the whole time. Uh, looks like they're they're going to try to get Dragon. Yeah, or like Varus is just going to go try to uh, get the gang top. Actually, Akali jumping down on Ori. The whole team's actually oh. there. We just get that chain. Malachi jumps on Sitch. And, uh, yeah, so good roam by the bot lane. Um, they want to do dragon. Yeah. So the best way to get a dragon is to put yourself at an advantage and taking out mid lane definitely does yeah. that for you. They definitely they definitely, they definitely, have a lot of wards too, so they can definitely see, see where they are right now. So. Yeah. So they see that Zach backed. And they actually and, uh, seen that Sejuani backed, so there's really there's really no pressure. Yeah, so it's gonna be a free dragon. 
Um, Lava Pan has just decided it's not worth it at this point. Let them have the dragon and try to just uh, farm up. Actually, Bane's pretty far out here. Um, Maokai just used Flash um, to get a bit closer. And the Sona ult coming down too. Yeah, uh, just the... Renekton gets, and Renekton gets that top tower. So this Duani Team Siren just doing a great job. Yeah. Uh, so Duani pulling out her ult, not managing to count. He's going to try to get this last blob. He doesn't manage to get oh. it, and the flash out. It's actually oh. flashes and stuns. So he's probably going to get the kill. Oh, no, Zach picks up some of those blobs. Oh, this oh. Actually, fall, actually falls down. Yeah. And it looks like Sejuani's going to be too oom to, to finish this off. So great knowledge by Renekton to, to realize that he could take those hits of yeah, Sejuani, who's not building damage at all. Um, and able to just get that kill off. But Kelly's roaming top here to see if where that Renekton went. He's just far out. So yeah, uh, Team Siren doing a great job. Up seven kills to one. Yeah. And uh, 6,000 ish gold. It looks like they're gonna make a group here mid here. Yeah. So we're probably just diving on to that uh, Doriana. Doriana ult goes off and does manage to catch a Kali, but she uh, doesn't move and um, manages to walk away from that safely. Yeah. So they have, uh, definitely have uh, three towers to zero here. Yeah. And the one dragon. So that gold lead inching further and further ahead. Yeah. Um, Again, they're they're hoping for that late game Bane to to carry him off, but it looks like it's gonna be a pretty pretty big uphill battle. Yeah. And the ward coverage by um, Team Siren just really great. A lot of wards deep in the jungle and yeah. uh, in the river. So lava pandas. Are, are being caught out and yeah, they can just definitely definitely see where everybody's coming across the river there yeah they can spot them all out and then choose an objective to go for or like you see uh, Varus just backing off actually blue team's actually going to get their first tower right here there is four bot right now so we'll see if they manage to do anything or get any kills off of this they're actually looking. Oh, they actually get the Sona ult with the Vars ult. And then Maokai flies. They actually get Vayne. So, oh, that. and the Orion ult. Thresh throws on his ult. Oh, he picks up another kill. So Thresh, probably gonna go down here too. That was, was just, that was just... The, but they just put their alts and just yep. they could just catch up with that movement speed with Sona and Oriana. Right? Yeah, there was great communication. Uh, the flash alt and the follow up from the Maokai. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, the the vein flash wasn't out of Maokai's alt range, uh, or else you might have stayed alive a little bit longer. But they do manage to get the four kills there. So Team Siren really just applying the pressure, going for these objectives. Yeah. Um, Zach and Vayne probably not going to be able to, to do anything about this. They're actually going to jump oh. in on them. Zach throws down his last bomb to ult. Uh, Vayne condemns Maokai away. Yeah. So he's going to be able to walk away from this safely, but we'll see if they're able to splash. Oh, Oreo uh, actually gets three people in their ult there. Yeah. And they actually can just yeah. counter engage with that. So we just turn this around. Maokai still being alive, and that was a great turnaround. Um, yeah. That Oriana ult really started it all off. Um, 
doing a lot of damage and and then just just Vayne not getting out that uh, missing out that kill there with her condemn with her condemn there pushing yeah. Maokai away. Yeah. He was able to just come back in and, and put a little bit more pressure. So Team Siren doing a great job here, uh, up 9,000 gold, uh, four towers to the one, and 13 kills to one. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think Lava Pundits can do here? Uh, they're just, they're, they're probably just gonna try try to farm it out, right? And just get out that get out those wards, and just hopefully they don't get caught out and warding, right? And they just need to get that ward on Baron because probably Purple Team probably gonna actually go for Baron right now. Actually, probably probably after they push out uh, top lane. Uh, yeah, they'll probably just go for Baron right after they put out top lane, and just, like I said, they probably just need to get out wards and just farm it up, and hopefully they get a nice pick. We see uh, Maokai throwing down the ward at Dragon, um, so that's probably the next objective. All five of them are sticking together now, and Dragon does just come up. So it definitely looks like Sujuani's smites up here, but I don't think they, they're going to actually contest this here. Yeah. If they do go in, um, the Orion all would have been ready for that. But actually, all grouped here. Maokai gets a piece of advance. The Sona all going down on Sejuani and Zac, but the less bounce coming out after. Akali going down, the, the Zac passive going down, and Varus managing to get the double kill. Um, so a three for, for none and Dragon. They were just, they were just like totally grouped as grouped yeah. as four, just ready, to sit, just sitting for that zone all, and, yeah. and then just that, just that chain CC. Yeah. So probably, right, right, where, right when they saw that advantage with that, with that uh, Oriana ult, that Maokai, they just went for it. Yeah. And they're gonna get this inhibitor at 20 minutes, and yeah. Uh, Really, the game's really going uh, pretty one-sided so yeah. far. Yeah. Um, but the protective vein composition really not working out so well. Uh, I think, one like, five vein. I'm, I'm pretty sure they shouldn't even they shouldn't even contest that dragon, like because they were yeah. they're so behind and it's just when they're when they're grouped when they're grouped like that and the Oriana just gets an ult and then just. Chain CC it right after that. There's, there's, they're not going to win a team fight. Yeah, and they made the decision earlier in the game to give up that first dragon and not contest it. Yeah. Uh, when they felt that they were a little bit behind, and at this stage of the game, when you're even further behind, to yeah. to make the opposite decision. Um, it just it, did, it didn't just, really work out well yeah. for them. <laughs> so it looks like. Um, they're actually picking up an Oracles. Or they actually, they had one. Yep. Someone still actually has it, so they might actually just take out their, uh, their wards here and actually maybe go for a Baron here. Right, we see Vayne just going to go back. Probably try to finish off her, her zeal. Yeah, uh, we see Renekton just following around Sona, clearing those wards with her, getting that vision down. Um, and again, like you see the the vision control. Yeah. That uh, red team's trying to apply. Blue team still has some wards out there, but um, anywhere that they go, red team really knows. Yeah. Looks like they should try to tank this for a little it's bit. Actually, Bane takes a lot of damage from that Q there from Ori. She's, she's got to be careful from this. Uh the steam here. Yep. They're actually not gonna. They're just gonna give this tower away. They see that the waves pushing mid. and Macaulay has to go deal with that. So this could be a dive here, or they can just siege for a little while. Actually, Bane gets ulted. Yep. Oh, Bane managing to run away for a little while. She's actually cutting back. But Varus just doing damage, being untouched in the yep. back line there. Takes a few tower hits and manages to flash away. Uh, Kali trying to take down Oriana, but not really able to do that. Um, and that is going to be game. Yeah. Um, great game by Team Siren. Um, from start to finish, really just focused 
and just dominating, just dominating on the towers and just getting yeah. out that ward cover just one on the game. And all lanes really just doing work. Yeah. Uh, Oriana really helping out that bot lane too. Um, so yeah, that was a good game. Uh, Team Siren will move on, and Lava Pandas goes down to the losers bracket. And we'll be back with the next game in a little bit. All right.